Hello everyone, this is Lollipop081 MLE here today and welcome to another episode of Lollipop Speed Arc in Famous Royal Series. So today is the first part of the Six Wives of Henry VIII remake. So yes, I re decided to remake um, the Six Wives of King Henry VIII of England, France, and Ireland for this speed painting. So this first part, I am focusing on Catherine of Aragon, Anne Boleyn, and Jane Seymour. And obviously, this is Catherine of Aragon right here that I'm doing. Honestly, I decided for all um, the six wives this time around, this is like the third time I did this, I'm basing it off of the David Starkey documentary, The Six Wives of Henry VIII from 2001. And currently, it is available on Daily Motion but it's not available on YouTube. So I did learn how to make the English hood or gable head or whatever, the hood or whatever it's called. I had a hard time doing her cross and all that stuff. So enough about my struggles of do while doing this. Let's spit out some facts. Catherine of Aragon is the daughter of King Ferdinand II and Queen Isabella I. King Ferdinand of Aragon and Queen Isabella of Castile. Oh, so, Catherine was the youngest daughter in her family. She had an older sister named Isabella, an older brother named Juan, another older sister named Joanna, Joanna the Mad, and she had a, another older sister named Maria. So, Catherine married Prince Arthur, Henry's brother. Yeah, brother. And they married in 1501, and then Arthur died, and King Henry VII basically was like, uh, yeah, you can marry my, uh, my second son. Problem solved. Uh, except that Henry and Arthur are brothers. Remember that. And all that stuff. So, eventually, Catherine, after being like a Spanish and female ambassador for a while, she does marry King Henry VIII when he becomes king. And it was for personal reasons, obviously. Catherine did fought a battle with Scotland and won a bigger, it was a bigger battle. But unfortunately, she had her own, she had issues carrying, um, with getting preg not getting pregnant she didn't have an issue with getting pregnant she had an issue she basically she had a bunch of miscarriages stillbirths she did have a son that she did carry to full term but he died of intestinal issues from what i read and she, of course she had mary and the reason then we get to that they get divorced they get divorced. Henry decides that he wants to split from his wife. And also because of Leviticus be like, um, if you take your brother's wife, it's an unclean thing. It will be child. You will be childless. So that's when Henry starts to fall in love with Anne Boleyn. And they go through a divorce. Uh, he and Catherine. And Catherine is very res resistant and until she is banished it'd be like you're dowager princess Catherine's like i'm still queen and mary is still the heir apparent so anyways here's Catherine of aragon with the outfit based on the documentary so next is anne boleyn anne boleyn obviously she's henry VIII's second wife and she's also the mother of queen elizabeth i and interesting though, I decided this time I'm basing on the documentary, I decided to do a different French hood for her, which is more like an octag uh not an octagon, a rectangle rounded rectangle type headdress uh, French hood because usually a lot of the French hoods be like they're rounded. Catherine of Aragon did wear French hoods, believe it or not. She didn't just wear the English uh hood or the gable hood. And obviously, with historical interpretation, she was more darker in complexion. Like, not black, but she was, like, olive skin. She had black 
uh, like dark eyes and dark hair, like brown hair, dark brown hair. Um, honestly, let me give you a pointer about jewels. Doing the jewels gave me so much life. As you notice with Catherine of Aragon, when I was doing her jewels, from my interpretation of her, uh, her gown, it gave me so much life. And doing the jewels and the metals like gold and silvers and everything for Anne Boleyn, it gave me so much life. So Anne Boleyn was very much resistant to becoming Henry's mistress. She's like, I'm, I'm not sleeping with you. I'm not. Con we're not consummating our relationship until I am your wife and queen. Honestly, I went for her gown. It's more stylish, like in the documentary. And my problem with, again, with the documentaries, they always portray... I want to give you a bit of a problem I have with documentaries. Catherine of Aragon, they always portray her as dark complexions, like Latina Spanish. No, she wasn't. Catherine of Aragon was a strawberry blonde to an auburn hair. She had blue eyes and she had fair skin. And in her episode of the Starkey documentary, she it is pretty much succeeded except the actress did have like she had brown hair but you could still pass it off as like auburn but with Anne Boleyn her actress had blue eyes like green eyes and brown hair like 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 medium brown hair that is not Anne Boleyn well does she portray the wit like Natalie Dormer in the Tudors yes but Amblin was falsely accused. Let's remember that. She was falsely accused of adultery and treason and incest. And she got beheaded because the king wanted to marry Jane Seymour. And all that shiz. Because she couldn't provide a son. But hey, we got Queen Elizabeth. And she was one of the most well-known rulers in history. So, yeah, here's Anne Boleyn. All looking stylish and everything. Oh, and I did not include the AB necklace this time around. So next is Jane Seymour. Now, Jane Seymour was more pious. She was more obedient. That's her motto, um, to obey and serve. And they always get Jane Seymour right, that she is a blonde with blue eyes, fair skin. And she's all, she's like all calm. She's like all meek and obedient. Like she was like mostly too pure for this world. But she did provide Henry an heir, H Edward, but she died a uh, purple fever, unfortunately. But Henry did regard her as his true wife. But the other thing was that she also reconciled Henry with his daughter Mary, his eldest. Like, that's kind of favoritism right there. Like, yeah, Jane did have some flaws. She did not pay attention to Elizabeth, but she did pay attention to Mary because they were Catholics. She wanted to bring Henry back to the Catholic faith. While with Anne Boleyn, Henry broke from the church so that he could divorce Catherine of Aragon. And the other thing is, Jane Seymour was also, she was, again, she was a lady in waiting to both queens. She was a maid of, maid of honor to Catherine of Aragon, and she was a lady in waiting to Anne Boleyn. And then, of course, she caught the king's affection. She also, um, she's like, she denied money. It's like I don't want money it's like if you want me I will give myself to you as your wife an honorable match and honestly she's so honestly for me she's like too pure for this world and all that stuff so again her motto was bound to obey and serve and her ladies of wait in were like you're supposed to be all like maiden like not seductive seductress like her headdress was hard here oh my goodness and but again it was like um Catherine's but it's more like um the hood part like the cloaky part is more like it's split into two and also her gown I based it off of the documentary it's this orange and coral pink dress and it's freaking cute on her. So anyways, with the ladies, I want to base some of the outfits on those ladies in waiting's outfits that um, that served Jane Seymour. Honestly, like that would be interesting. And she had like some 
earthy tones to her dress. It's more, it's basically Jane is all earthy and she had pearls. I gave her pearls mostly. Her, like her um, sleeves are like this orange and olive striped puff sleeves. And I actually I had a hard time doing the necklace, like getting it on the neck properly. But her necklace is all rubies and it, they gave me life too, like I said. But Jane, had Jane didn't give a son or miscarried, she would have been discarded. But honestly, she would have had more children had she lived. But nothing would have changed anyways if she was still alive. Because she's, um, Henry did broke from the church and all that stuff. So anyways, all three of these pieces are on my DeviantArt. DeviantArt, <laughs> oops. And also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and DeviantArt as well. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And I will see you next time. Peace out.